So let's talk about brand marketing. Now, look, I'm not necessarily give, gonna give this the attention that it deserves because look, branding is expensive. As far as I'm aware, I'm not talking to people they've got a five million pound war chest to increase their brand across the UK. If I am, get in touch, I might be able to help. Um, I'm talking to people that want leads fast. You know, they wanna get a good turnaround. Now, the important thing with brand is it just doesn't help with lead generation. It helps with acquisition. So it's the percentage of those leads that actually will turn into customers. So let's look at something like this, what you look like. So let's say you've got a really good digital marketing strategy. That's generating 15 leads a week, 100 leads a week, 1,000 leads a week, whatever you think is good for you. And let's say you are a window manufacturer, whatever. Um, so people are going on there seeing that you do really beautiful windows. They're clicking on the link. They're saying, yeah, come and see me to talk to me about my windows. Mine look a bit crap. And you turn up in a 17 year old car and a guy gets out or a woman gets out, uh, their shirt's untucked, they're not in branded uniforms. What do you think their perception of your company is right now? You see, the likelihood of, of them actually purchasing from you is slim to none right now. You've wasted all that money on digital marketing to generate the lead, to generate the interest for that brand part to really let you down. So simple things like what your store, your shop layout is. You know, very simple things like Ikea, if you've never been to one, I mean, where have you been for the last five years? And if you've never fallen into the Ikea trap, everybody knows what the Ikea trap is now. When you go into that shop, unless you've been in there a lot and you know where the shortcuts are and you can follow them, you literally have to go through every single department to get out. That's part of their brand, it's part of their experience. At the same time, you know who to ask for help because they've all got those, they've all got yellow t-shirts on and stripy trousers. You know that that's the people that you go and ask for help. Now let's think that you have a, a DIY shop and your staff aren't in branded uniform and you've got somebody lost in the shop that's not necessarily sure what to get. Who do they ask for help and who do they ask for service? How many customers have been walking around your shop aimlessly not knowing where to find someone, and because they don't know where to go, you can't help them. What's the likelihood of them coming back? So brand marketing is some really simple stuff. Getting the uniforms right, getting the layout right, getting your branding, your logo and your strap line, what you stand for. Simple things like how you handle things. Basic automated systems. So how you answer the phone. Your brand should not be um, down to Dave or Hillary answering the phone. You know, it shouldn't be better if Hillary's there versus if Dave's answering the phone. That's affecting your brand. You need to have an, or a, a very, very good process which delivers value every single time, which each one of your employees follows. Does that make sense? To, I hope it does. And the final thing is your shop window. What does your shop window look like? And that could be for two different types of business, whether you've actually got a shop or whether your shop window is your website. When somebody walks past or when somebody sees that website, how does it make them feel? Do they think, God, these people really care about their appearance? Or is it still finger marks from 1972 on the window? You know, is there care and consideration to put your products across and your services across in a way that your consumer can see that you care about them, that you've got their best interests at heart, or is the cobwebs on it? You know, you get what you normally give here. So if you care about your customer, you're spending, you're investing time in your brand, in your logo, in your shop front, in the way that you handle things, making sure your staff look great and care about their customer and they're inducted in the right way. Not only will that really pass on down the line and start generating more business, but it will also help with your conversion rate from those other strategies that we've been talking about. Make sure you pay close attention to this stuff. So I said on a small budget, most of this stuff costs very little. You know, to write down, oh, Hillary, this is how Hillary answers the phone and people love her. Dave, can you say that please? Costs absolutely nothing, but people get a lot of value from it. And that's what brand marketing is all about, value proposition. You know, the reason I could set up a burger uh, business today that will do nowhere near as much business as McDonald's. My burgers might be better, but McDonald's will sell more and make more. And the reason is brand. People know what they're getting every time that they go into McDonald's. They don't know what they're getting when they go into John's, Mac John's burger shop. 
that's better than McDonald's strap line. They don't know, do they? And so they experience it. You've all been into a restaurant and had a great experience and then a crap experience. They've not got their brand right. They've not got that delivery element right. So make sure that when you're welcoming customers in, they have a great experience and use your brand as part of that. Oh, make sure that you subscribe below. If you've not, what are you doing?